And now that we got the worst ending out of the way, why don't we take a step up and go for another ending? Hey there, people of the internet world, it's Kibaktu. Welcome back to Let's Play Valkyrie Profile. So, after that whole mess of, uh, ending, of N ending, I should say, I guess now's a good time to go ahead and just get straight on to the B ending, huh? So, let's see here. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> But yes, for the B ending here, this is the second ending that you can get for, you know, doing a thing, you know, whatever. Yeah. This is for the B ending. But um, something that I want to mention is that, um, I think we, I think I showed it in the C ending, is that it they do have conditions for you when you need to send somebody up for Chapter 8. They do have conditions, but when you have the cutscene that plays in, the, in there instead, it doesn't really show it. But, you can still transfer two people, at least, for them to, um, you know, count. Because at least that way, you get, you at least get more, um, you get more materialized points at the end if you transfer at least a couple more characters. So, why don't we go ahead and do this? I'm gonna go ahead and send Lorenta. And I'm also going to send Janice as well, just so you, you know, just so that um, will uh, it'll be somebody that's it'll, it'll be some people that have uh, a good um, a good what is it? What am I looking for? Hero value, a good hero value, and it'll give us a good chance to you know uh, get some more materialized points as well. So let's go ahead and send Janice. Goodbye, Janice. Nice knowing you. You were a pretty helpful guy. Just saying. And then we'll send up Lorenta. Goodbye, Lorenta. Your backstory was pretty tragic because of the Zard, but arguably you had you were able to give the best story in the game, in my opinion. So that's nice. And thus, that is it. We have sent all that we could, and we have done all that we can to help out the people of Asgard for the Battle of Ragnarok. So. I guess now's a good time as any to go ahead and just head on up there ourselves. We'll reach the end. We spent enough time here, we sent enough of uh, our best to send up to Asgard, and yeah, we did all we could. So let's go ahead and just head straight on in. Let's go ahead and end this. The final battle for the fate of Asgard has begun. Your duties on Medgard are finished. Now head to Valhalla! I'm trying to roll my R's. I can't do that. I can't do it very well, actually. <clears throat> if I really tried, I could, but no, I just... I just can't. So, yeah, I'm really bad at this kind of thing. So... <coughs> <coughs> Recording this with a sore throat is also a bad thing. So, Ragnarok, let's do this. <clears throat> a massive ice field in the ice lands from the north of Asgard. It is called the Hotenheim Ice Field and is home to Vanir led by Surt. It is a frozen war dominated by a sheer ice cliff which rises in the air. Looking down upon the field, the Jotunheim piles the home base of Surt's Vanir army. And on that day, the Vanirs were assembled as far as the eye could see, awaiting the coming of mighty Asir. Asir, Asir, excuse me. Well, that was the longest one that we actually ran into so far. Oh boy, we're gonna overthrow a guy. Big, a really big guy. Well, thanks. I feel no pressure. Oh boy, enemies everywhere, huh? This is the final battle. You must be victorious at all costs. The entire Aesir army is assembled and prepared to advance to Jotunheim Pla Palace. This is it. Now, the final battle begins.
Well, the final battle isn't necessarily here just yet. We still have to go through one last palace, one last dungeon to get through and find Cert. So, Jotunheim Palace, it begins. Alright, so, just to show you guys what we're dealing with here, first off, golden eggs, and it should be... holy job. There we go. I always gotta do that, just saying. Alright, before I move on here, do, 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 do. anything else? Uh, I haven't. I haven't because the, um, this, bun this dungeon, this giant dungeon, it's a pretty giant freaking dungeon. It only has about two layers, about a couple of places you can go forward and backward in, but look at this place. This is huge. I say it's just bigger than Lazard Tower. So, yeah, this is gonna be... This is gonna be an interesting palace here. So, this place here... It is fairly easy for us to get lost in this place. But, just as long as we're, uh -huh, just as long as we know what we're up against and we know where to go and whatever, I think we'll be just fine. Now, the, the gimmick of this, this palace here, this dungeon, or these ice platforms here, freeze check, not bad. But yes, yeah, so the gimmick of this place are these freezing platforms for the most part. These platforms here, once you step on them, they're vanished. Try it again. But they will reappear once uh, once enough time passes. But as soon as you land on them, you gotta go. You gotta go! Dang it. Alright. Let's try that one more time. Hold on. This is a bit of a glitch if I've ever seen one. Look at look at Lenith here. She's in front of a crystal, but the two side crystals are in front of her. Why? Uh, that seems so weird. All right, let's try this again. So jump, I jump, I jump, I jump, I jump up here, which is gets fun stuff. Okay. All right. So once we get on this platform here, there we go. But yeah, not only is that a thing though, but another thing is that in this dungeon you are able to divine item whenever and wherever. So no more trying to get to um certain places anymore. You can actually just go ahead and just, you know, do whatever because, or just get these items whenever you want to so that you won't have to worry about, you know, going to a, a save point just to get certain things, which is rather nice, actually. Really nice. Alright, um... Nothing really I need right now. But yes, that's there just in case you just you forgot to get an item or something, and this is a this being the last dungeon for the B ending route. Yeah, it's kind of a thing. Stretch it down here. There's the eye of heaven. Um Yep, I knew it. There's an item there's some enemies here. Um I know I can get up that one. But uh why don't we introduce some enemies? Because we haven't ran into an enemy yet. To my side, my noble I'm we have nothing but to fight. Yeah, we're gonna fight a lot in this place. All right, so the main enemy of this dungeon are the veneer, and the veneer come in three different palettes, each of which being a little stronger and a little meaner than the last. So you just kind of have to wail on them. They're not bad, though. The first, even the third set that we, that we meet it later on, they're not all that bad, really. Get thee hence! Oblivion awaits thee! But they are going to be in e almost every battle here in this dungeon. So, yeah, this is going to be a fun dungeon. Yeah! There are effects horse break off of them, so that's kind of nice. Alright, I think I can just do this. There we go. No traps yet. I'm a little surprised by that. I don't remember if how many of these items here are actually trapped or not, but they there are traps. Don't uh, don't uh, take that as some thing. What is this for? Hmm. Oh, this one's on fire. Yay, blue fire. And 
green. Oh. Oh, okay. Um, alright. Interesting. So let's grab the green fire. Blue and green make this aqua looking color. Which looks nice. Ah, good. Alright, there we've got the red fire. Now we have white fire. Something tells me I did this wrong. I'm all, I feel like I did this one really wrong. Dang it. Hmm. Well, but the light blue one didn't do anything. Neither did the white one. So, let's try blue. So this platform goes back. I try blue with red. the purple. Alright. Now, what does... Dang it. Zoe. What does purple with green do? Also white. Okay. I guess we're not supposed to start with the blue fire. Hmm. Well, the only combination we haven't tried yet is red and green. So, let's try red and green then. Start with red. And then get green. Fire the color of oranges. The color of oranges? What? I'm sorry, what? <laughs> I'm sorry, what? <laughs> Hold on. Let me do this again. Let me try blue and green again. It's only blue fire. To only? I'd be surprised there was fire at all in this place. This place is a freaking ice dungeon for Pete's sake. I'm gonna grab the red one. I wonder what happens when I actually put it over there. Worth finding out. Darn it. Let me take a look real quick. Nope. Nothing. Alright. So, purple fire. Daisy fire. Oh. Okay. Um. What's the point of that, then? It's supposed to be purple, but it's Daisy Fire? Hmm. Hmm. I wonder about that. Ah, oh, well. This was a dead end, at least. So, that's that's nice. That we can just go ahead and just move on with our day. And not have to worry about uh, splitting paths. Not yet, at least. So, now that that dead end's out of the way, let's see what's in here. Oh, fun. To my side, my noble Einherjar. No mercy. Wow, already different enemies? That's... Oh boy, it's gonna be a fun dungeon. Okay, so two more veneer, this time with blue armor. I don't know what the difference is, but uh, your guess is as good as mine. And another wise sorcerer. I wonder what Poison Blow will do to you. Poison Blow! Holy sh... Holy cow! Poison Blow kind of annihilates everybody! <laughs> That's kind of that's funny. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Um, now I'm curious actually. I think this is a dungeon where if you leave and come back into the room, yep, respawning enemies. The enemies here in this dungeon respawn. That's another gimmick that this dungeon has. They are filling these rooms up with a lot of fights. I will try to show off every fight, every monster here in this dungeon at least once, but I'm not guaranteeing that because of how many monsters you run into and how many battles that you you sometimes have to 
run into just to get by. I'm not waiting for that crystal. Dang it! I gotta wait for that crystal. <clears throat> okay. Do that, do that, do that. Um, what's the point of this here then? I don't know. Alright. Alright, so, what else do we got going on over here? Wow, there's so many splitting paths already. Taking my time here because, aside from all of that as well, there's a couple of spots here that have some falling, uh, falling frozen stalactites. Is it mites or tights? I know one is. I know one means the ground. One means the. One means from the ceiling. Well, that's a useless loop. That's a very, very useless loop. <laughs> well, at least it was a dead end, and that doesn't look anything special. All right. So moving on then. Yeah, a lot of the monsters for a lot of these rooms actually. A lot of these rooms, a lot of monsters in these rooms. I just say, dang. Ah! I thought for a second I ran into the ice, ice crystal, the ice stalactite, and I thought that was the, that was the battle. But no, I just that guy just had a very big hitbox. What's down here? Uh, I see you. I see you. And I saw myself getting frozen. Pow! <laughs> well, at least the monster isn't around, so let me just get on frozen here. More freeze checks. Now, I will say this. Dang it! As I was trying to say. Also, this is a wall. But you can stand in it, but uh, you, get, you get hurt. So, try not to stand in that. Darn it. Now, as I was saying, though, despite popular belief, considering you're, we've gotten, like, two freeze checks in this dungeon about ice, you don't want to use those. You you just don't. Must be over here. Okay, maybe not. Hmm. You get frozen. I search around a bit. I know there's an item in here. The blue orb shows there's an item in here somewhere. Somewhere in the ice castle, freezing its balls off. It is in here. I know it is in here. It has to be in here. Is it down here? Hang on. Get out of my way. Aha! There you are. Freeze. Uh. Oh my god, I cannot believe I got through that without getting an encounter. Wow! That was a clinch! <laughs> wow, that was cool. That was cool. Scarlet Edge. Yep. Okay. Up, 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 up. Up, up, ah! Jerks! That was a cheap trick! You know what? Cheapskates! But, uh, yeah, for the most part for these battles here, it's almost practically always Veneer, and maybe some other monster that's around here. So any monster encounters that we get will probably just be simply more Veneer. Until... until later. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's, it's still the same enemy so far, so there's nothing, nothing really changed just yet. But in the meantime, let's just keep looking around here. Man, we are going up. We are going up. Uh... Ice? Ice? No ice crystals? No? Really? Um, why do I feel like I went in through this the wrong way? <laughs> oh, where am I? Um, well, there was a thing back there. And 
I feel like that one back there was a dead end. So let's go back. Yeah, still the same thing. It's just a bunch of in the air and a white sorcerer on occasion, so... Eh, nothing special. Nothing special just yet. There are other enemies around here, but for the most part, for like the first few enemies that they're gonna be running into, it's probably 